What's up, navigation traders? Happy May 4th, Friday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> uh, let's get started on the alerts for the week. So starting off on Monday, our first trade was an IYR trade, which is the real estate ETF. We put on a new short strangle uh, implied volatility percentile at the time was at 70. So if we take a look at the chart, you can see it's already, it's since, since then it's contracted down to 56. So we've got a tiny bit of profit on the trade, still very centered, nothing to do there yet, except for wait. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in GLD. So we had an iron condor, price moved down, so we closed out the untested side. We closed the call vertical side of that GLD trade. And we're still holding that, that same piece here. So if we look at GLD, you can see price came down, breached our break even. Now it's moved back barely into our range. So we could use a little bit more of an up move uh, to benefit that piece. I was hoping we might get a, a small pop in implied volatility uh, up above that 50 level before we put on a, an additional iron condor. It's continued to contract, so we're waiting on that. We may still, whip, we, we may still put another iron condor on. Remember, when we are adjusting a trade, even if the IV rank or IV percentile is not over 50, we still, uh, we still put those uh, adjustments on sometimes uh, as opposed to a new entry. We really typically like to do a new entry over that 50 level. So we haven't yet. I was hoping for a little pop. Haven't got it. So we'll just continue to manage that, that put side of the iron condor uh, into, into next week and see what happens. Next trade was an opening trade. We did a pre-earnings long straddle in NVIDIA, which we, uh, if we take a look there at NVIDIA, we still have this on. Remember, they announced earnings on May 10th. So we've got some time there. If we take a look at our Analyze tab, you can see a couple things. One, implied volatility has not expanded uh, as we expected. It's continued to grind lower. So hoping that we still get a pop in implied volatility leaning into earnings like we usually do, uh, but that has not benefited our position. So we've got a decent price move now. We put it on when price was back here, uh, but still very little profit, a little over 86 bucks, so not bad. But if we can get a little bit of a, a move higher and a pop in implied volatility, we will uh, we'll take this off hopefully early next week. So we'll see what happens there. Next trade was a closing trade in Apple. So we had we had bought a uh, pre-earnings long straddle on Apple. Uh, they announced earnings, so we took a small loss on this trade. If we look at our closing trades, let's look at that Apple one. So it took a $70 loss, so pretty small loss, but ended up just booking that loss. In fact, if uh, some of you who had that trade on, if you held it a little bit longer, you may have been able to squeak out a profit because it did move into profitability later that day, but we, we ended up getting out. Next trade was an opening trade. We put on a strangle in the euro, for slash 6E. Uh, IVR uh, popped up above 50. Still in this, uh, not, not much P&L uh, change at this point. Uh, still very centered, so just waiting for this one to decay some more. If we take a look at the implied volatility, uh, remember when we put it on, IVR was about 50, so it's still hanging out right in that area. So not much movement in price or implied volatility on that one yet. Did a closing trade in Tesla, so we had a, a long put vertical that we ended up ho holding through earnings. Uh, had a nice move down in Tesla, booked a, booked a nice winner in that one. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in ZN. So we closed out a short strangle that we had in ZN, booked a profit over 35% of max profit on that one. And then we're still holding our second piece to that trade, which is an adjusted strangle, currently a, a straddle at the 120 strike. And we are just under... Uh, we're just at 21 days to expiration, so early next week, we will be rolling that out to the next expiration cycle, giving ourselves more time to be right and collecting some more credit on that one. So look for that early next week. Next trade was an opening adjusting trade in the queues, and that was our final trade. So a lot less trades this week than typical. 
Uh, we've got a lot of trades that are just kind of centered and we're just kind of waiting for that theta to decay. But in the queues, we've had these short call verticals, which were previously from iron condors. And, in, and you can see with the big move up in stocks today, moved out of our range a little bit. These are in May, which have uh, 14 days left to expiration. So in the next week or week and a half, we will be rolling those. Uh, but the, the trade that uh, from the alert that I just mentioned, we added a new iron condor, which you can see with this big price move up, starting to uh, get into our upper range. So we'll continue to monitor and manage that as needed. As for some of our other positions, uh, let's see, ES. So we've got the long put vertical, which we're holding for that for some of that short delta in our portfolio. Just moved a bit out of our range today with the big up move, so we need some downside movement for that one. And then our uh, separate trade, we've still got this iron condor on, almost to a point of booking a profit. So if price stays relatively stable, we'll look to uh, book a profit on that piece of the trade and probably add another one to continue to uh, add duration onto that trade as well. So look for that early next week. Natty Gas, we've got an iron condor on here. You can see it shows we're down uh, 150 on the trade, but remember on some of these commodities on the options on futures, if the market's closed, this, excuse me, this profit line is gonna be a bit skewed. So it's actually gonna be a little bit higher than that when the market's open back up. ZS, soybeans, got an iron condor, still very centered there, so nothing to do but wait. Wheat, very similar, got an iron condor, got a tiny bit of profit, waiting for some more theta to decay in those options. Apple, so we had, uh, we had rolled this vertical from May to June, and if you see here, uh, it's with the big move up today, it moved up almost 4%, huge move to the upside in Apple after we did the roll. So looking for some downside movement to benefit that trade in Apple. Amazon, this is one that we put on as a post earnings uh, short put vertical. You can see we've got a, a bit of a move up back into our range here. So just playing the waiting game, looking for some a uh, little bit of up movement on that one. DIA, we've got an iron condor on here that's in some profit, but not enough to take off yet. And then we also have some short call verticals that we've been uh, we're originally part of Iron Condors, and we've been just rolling and will continue to roll uh, next week uh, to continue to keep that short delta in our portfolio. EEM, uh, got a strangle on here, got a little bit of profit, could use a little bit of an up move to benefit that one. EWW, same story, need a little bit of an up move, some more theta to decay before we book that one. We've also got a strangle in Facebook which is coming in nicely. With the implied volatility contraction today, we saw our profit line move up significantly in Facebook. So I wanted to give that over the weekend. We are over 30% of max profit in a very short period of time on Facebook. So we'll look to potentially book that winner next week. FXI, got a strangle on this very centered here. Got some profit, not quite enough to take off yet. I mentioned GLD, IWM, we have this iron condor. Waiting for a little bit more profit in there. I mentioned IYR, NVIDIA, and the Qs. And then lastly, XLK, we've got this long put vertical, which again, hit a huge move up. So we'll probably look to roll extend duration on that one next week. But remember, this is uh, another one that's keeping that short delta in our portfolio. For you new members, just remember, we, we like to keep short delta in our portfolio. We like to keep a short bias because our, our core trades that our, our core strategies and trades that we're putting on are range bound trades, selling premium and high volatility like strangles, straddles, iron condors, butterflies, you know, all those types of, of strategies. And so to help protect us, we, we like to keep a short bias in our in our portfolio for those of uh, uh, violent moves to the downside. And so that's that's what some of these when I say it's short delta, uh, plays, that's what I am referring to. So hope that's helpful. Everybody have a great weekend. Look forward to some more volatility next week. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you then.